Hey guys, Rack here. <laughs> As you can hear and see, there's rain. It's pretty gross outside. Yeah, I can't ride. So I'm gonna make a video because I wanted to talk about some uh, upcoming projects, you know, things we got in the loop. So in this video, that's what we're gonna talk about. We're gonna talk about, we're gonna talk about my Ducati. We're gonna talk about, you know, what I got done to it right now, what's changing, you know, what I'm adding, what I'm taking off, blah, blah, blah. There's, um, for now, until I can get everything set up to be able to start going to track, I'm stuck with what I got going on right now. So we are currently on a Panigale V4S 2021. This is, so there's two different configurations that the V4 comes in. Well, I should say three. There's a base model that doesn't have any electronics. Um, well, electronic suspension. Olins and all that stuff. Okay, there's the V4S. That's the one with all the electronic package and uh, lighter rims, so it turns and accelerates faster. And then there's the V4SP. That one is what I originally wanted. And I can tell you price point on each of them. Uh, the V4 is like twenty thousand, I think twenty four thousand. The V4S is 28,000. The V4 SP is 37,000. And then the V4R is the, the race ready bike. It is, has the most horsepower, also has a lot of tedious shit you gotta do because it's a race engine. It has to be, you have to do a lot of extra stuff to it because it breaks down a lot easier because, you know, when you have something revving up to 17,000 RPMs, which is very fucking high, by the way. I mean, go look at, Go look at your bike and see what the RPM red line is. The red line on the V4R before you tune it is 16.5. That's higher than a good portion of the 600cc bikes. So it has very light parts and components in there and probably titanium or whatever. So, you know, that shit can move really, really fast. So it lets it rev higher. And the V4 engine is just phenomenal for revving. Um, even the one I have, the one I have... Uh, 15,000 RPMs is what it revs up to. Perfectly fine. Um, so right now I'm on a Bren tuning, stage one tunes, the only the only tune that Bren tune has for the Ducati V4. Um, they're quoting around, I think 205 horsepower pump and then like 213 on uh, MR12, which is racing fuel. Okay. And I mean, for the most part, the tune's really good. There's some issues I have with it. And I don't know if it's tune related, but it seems tune related because the problems I started having happened right after I put the tune on and I followed all the instructions exactly how they said to do it. So something didn't agree with my bike for whatever fucking reason. And now I have this really dumbass problem. Two of them actually. One, it just likes to stall out. If, um, if I'm just barely even touching the clutch, It'll just die out if I'm if I don't have like at least five thousand six thousand RPMs. I don't I don't really get it, but you can really hear it when it starts up, and it, it actually really sucks on a cold start too. I don't know what it is with that. I don't, maybe it's just some with the tune didn't go right. Whatever. Uh, just that's a stupid ass issue to have on a thirty thousand dollar bike. So naturally, I have to deal with that. And the other problem I have now I'm thinking about it. Um, so. Whenever you press down the brake pedal, your light brightens up in the back. You have like a running light, like it's it's a it's that kind of like A shape or whatever. Anyways, that is your your light so people can see from behind you to see where you are. Well, on my bike, basically, if I press down, like the light's just on, right? And if you press it down, it brightens up. But as soon as you let it off, the light completely turns off, and it's supposed to stay on at a lower voltage or whatever. A lower uh, brightness if that makes sense that way it's still on so people can see you from behind you know what i mean so and that's on the front brake and the rear brake so something electrical is going on with that i thought about trying to find an integrated tail light but i was unable to find one um everybody's doing these stupid turn signal things that it's fuck that i want a fucking integrated turn light turn signal light i know it's not legal in a lot of places but better have fucking turn signals than not and right now i don't have turn signals but i have a feeling if i had the turn signals inside the light 
I wouldn't be having this problem because for one, I think it might be related to the turn signals not being in. And I took the turn signals off because I really hate the Scorpion tail that's on the back of pretty much every modern bike. So between those two things, uh, I think that's, it seems to me like it's tune related. I could be wrong, but I think it's tune related. I asked the dude about it, and about the stalling issue, and he basically told me uh, that's just a Ducati thing. And I'm like, and it's so weird because it wasn't doing that when it was tuned or before it was tuned when it was stuck. So, you know, fucking with the ECU, you know, sometimes things get fucked up. And I think that's basically what happened. So I'll probably go to Ducati, have them fucking flash it back to stock. I mean, I have the, so I have the flash to flash it to stock on the Bren tuning moto, uh, whatever you want to call it, Bren tuning motorcycle handheld device i can i can flash it back to stock like the the stock that i uploaded to them you have to upload a file to them and then they do whatever to it and send it back to you they send you a race map and a regular map uh it does wake your bike up though i'm gonna tell you straight up like my bike definitely felt like i gained like 20 plus horsepower so it was pretty good it's very fast very quick um accelerates smoothly uh, most of the tune's really good it's just those two minor things and I'm not, I'm not convinced that it's not from the tune. I haven't been proven otherwise. Um, this is not to say anything bad about Bren tune, by the way. Like, they have a phenomenal product and it, it works, you know. It does what it was advertised to do. And, of course, they have disclaimers saying that they're not responsible for anything that happens. So, like, I'm not, I'm not even trying to blame them. I'm just, you know, that's, that's what is going on with my bike. I I have a friend that has a BMW that has very similar problems on a brand new BMW. So I don't know if, and he's tuned through the same place. So I don't know if, you know, maybe we just got the two bikes that just don't fucking work right. Or, you know, who knows what the fucking case may be. But that being said, why don't we quickly look, I want, I want this video to be short. So we're going to quickly look at the, uh, stuff coming up with the bike. Uh, we're getting a new tune by the way. Just push that in. It's raining, so it's nice and loud out there. All right. Let's get around here. All right. So, here we are. We are inside the garage. And first thing you're going to notice, carbon fiber. I'm starting to collect carbon fiber for the bike. And I'm also thinking I might start learning how to make this. Because all you really need is a vacuum the right type of epoxy and the carbon fiber and you know know how to make the mold and that's about it so we'll fuck with that next thing is we're getting a new tune the tune is from slr i'm just going to come out right now and say it it's from slr and slr has been killing other bikes like the the tune that that guy has his name's frank amazing guys uh, the other thing we're getting is straps but that's only for this like whenever i'm on track or whatever we're going to change it back to stock but for now, we're gonna have that. And then uh, we're replacing this. This is just gonna be a push button to turn it on. And what else? There's one other thing that I was getting and I can't fucking remember it right now. Hmm. Well, it doesn't really matter. That's the main two things, the brand new tune. Uh, by the way, when you wanna tune the V4, it's gonna be on this side. Under the seat, you just take these two bolts off. There's one here, and there's one here, and you got a little plug right there. And basically, you just plug it in and then follow the signals. We are at something like 2,100 miles or something like that. Still got an oil service light because I have not been over to Ducati in San Antonio or Austin, and I will be there soon, though. We are actually looking at doing that probably next month, I'm thinking, or maybe the end of this month. So maybe I'll record that and you'll get to see a really long ass video that YouTube's probably gonna hit me uploading, but it'd be cool. That's all right. Uh, man, I wish they would do something other than foam. Like when you're riding, the heat from here just barbecues you. This is super light, by the way. The difference was like over a pound between this and the, the other part. So, oh. It was something, oh, that's what it was. I bought I bought a different brake rotor. Instead of using this brake rotor, I'm using a wave rotor and that reduces, I think a pound of rotational weight on the bike. So 
this is the other thing that's getting changed. Instead of using this one, we're gonna use a completely different one. But that being said, I have to find out how to take this big ass nut off and I don't have a tool for that. So I'm probably gonna have to see if my friend can help me with that. And uh, yeah, so that's gonna be the name of the game, right? We're gonna, we're gonna reduce rotational weight as much as possible. Eventually we will go for carbon fiber rims. Right now we have the Marchesini forged magnesium, whatever the fuck it is, but Man, they look so good too, though. Uh, something that's really like kind of got me really in tune with Ducati is I love single-sided swing arms. I didn't think I did at first. I thought it kind of looked dumb, but I think after I've owned it for a while, I can definitely say the simplicity of it. Like, if I want to change a sprocket and chain, I can do all that over here without even fucking with the rim. I don't have to take the rim off to do all that. On other bikes, you do. Ducati has a lot of really great ideas, by the way, guys. Um, I have some race day videos that I'll add to. I deleted a lot of stuff off my off my GoPro, but I do have some some clips, so I'll put some clips in. I'll put them in the my last video. I did that, and it was all from the phone, so it didn't look good. I'll see what I have. Oh, and here's the other dumbass problem that I'm having. Uh, apparently at 200 miles per hour, this is not flexible and or it's too flexible So it pushes down on the fucking wheel and the wheel eats it. So we got to replace that too. Oh Man, we gave her a nice bath too. She needed one 